Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So um, today is another video about leaks because we have Imperial Guard leaks that are popping up over on the internet. This is uh, some of the things I talked about in my rumor video. I'll link that in the description. You know, when we heard all these a couple of months ago when I spoke about these, this is what I heard from a certain source about new generals, new sentinels, new Kasakins, commissars and stuff like that. The images that I have, of course, the one in the background now, which is the general and also I have a glimpse of the new Sentinel as well to show off, which again is is kind of incredible. This is this is what I've been hearing about the Imperial Guard, like some of the big stuff that's going to be happening. But let's jump in and let's talk about this stuff right now. So when I was sent these images um, over on a Discord server, I asked where do these images come from. And apparently, there's a Reddit thread on this, uh, and there's also um, something over on 4chan about this. So this seems to where um, what where these guard uh, leaks are actually hitting at the moment uh, with the so-called general. I want. I want to call uh, this model a general in the background. This looks like a female general to me. Um, some people have been saying that it's Creed's daughter. I don't really read that much Imperial Guard books. I've been reading the Dad Abnett Gaunt's Ghosts and stuff, but apart from like Creed and everything like that, I didn't really know he had a daughter. It kind of makes sense because this model, if it is his daughter, um, does have the kind of like revolvers strapped on her waist, which is kind of maybe a nod um, to her father. Um, she seems like she's got like uh, like a, a, one of those iconic scepters that's like a you know a place in your your office like follow me go forward and stuff if not i'll beat you to death so yeah i can see that stuff actually you know being a thing because we actually know creed no longer well i say no longer exists he's not really a part of the law anymore because he's now part of trajan's so-called collection uh because over when kdfl fell he was about to die and Trajan come along and said, nope, you belong with me now. I'm going to show you off as a prize in my museum. For the actual model itself, I think it looks okay. I like how it's on a rock, of course. More rubble. Is that Cadia? Who knows? Um, it looks like it is like a little banner stuck out behind her. I'm not sure if that is another individual model that we can't see um, holding that banner or if that's just a part of the scenery itself. And she's actually stood under that saying, you know, Cadia uh, here. I like the long coat. I, li I like the armor. Um, you know, I like the little Cadian helmet in the rubble to, to show that you know even even though Cadia is in is in ruins we still stand and we still fight now another one of the leaked images is of course the sentinel which i mentioned at the start this again was one of the rumored vehicles that was supposed to be coming with all the rumored stuff so for those of you who are not up to date with the rumored stuff it was supposed to be like a new um lord hq which is obviously her um some new sentinel designs uh, a new commissar there's new veterans and um, Cadian units, like you know, like the the like the the, the hardened Cadian forces who survived Cadia, um, and new Kasakins as well. Kasakins are supposed to be coming, and of course the Rogal the, the Rogal Dawn battle tank, um, which we have yet to to see or heard more about, which. I'm super excited for, but back to this image, of course, with a Sentinel, you can definitely see it's a new design, it's more rounded in its armoring design, it's got rockets on, uh, on, on the side of it, it's got like a plasma gun, I'm wondering if this has been designed by Call himself, this is like a new Call updated vehicle for the guard, because so far, we've seen Call giving out new weapons and stuff, but it's only been for the Space Marines, as he's now shifted over and started to give the rest of the Imperium more of these, um, technologically advanced designs. It'd be interesting to read the lore about that and to see what's going on um, with this type of stuff. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more stuff dropping in the coming hours, days, whatever now, because it seems like the leaks are out there now. It's popping up on these random websites. It's popping up on Reddit, like I said, on 4chan. Um, so I won't be surprised if we get to see more of the leak units. I'm sure Games Workshop is going to post an image uh, uh, like about this or like an article about this saying yes this is a new unit and um, because of course that's what happens when stuff leaks online and um, they try and you know manage it so you know everything doesn't leak so they can they can have it from their perspective rather than someone else's perspective um but yeah i'm excited i'm hugely excited for the imperial guard hopefully you guard players um, your your hype is building on this. Um, as I stated, there's so much more to come. Um, it seems like the rumors that I had a couple of months ago are absolutely bang on. So um, yeah, I can't I can't wait to see more guard stuff. I can't wait to read more of the lore really now, what the guard are doing. I actually wanted to learn more about the guard who are actually on the phalanx now, helping the Imperial Fist, because I plan to do like a little mini guard phalanx force if that is 
possible. I'd love to know the colour scheme for that. Um, but anyway, enough waffling from me. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. If you've got any thoughts, feedback, anything like that, post it down below and we can have a nice little talk down there as we normally do. See you now and bye-bye.